boy. This weather is going to kill me. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will notice that I started cosplaying like two years ago. You can see my art account has started slowly from art into more cosplay pictures. <laughs> so lately I made the decision to change the account name, including this channel. So say goodbye to the random jumbo name that my 16 year old self created. It was fun while it lasted, but I feel like it's time for a change. Anyway, the arts in my cosplay accounts are still there. I don't think I would want to delete or clear them all. Not because I'm lazy and don't want to spend time deleting everything. It's just that I have had that account for so long, there's so much memories that I just want to be cherished. The damage is done, so why would I erase it? And I remember scrolling all the way down to see the journey of me uploading all the artworks that I've made. It was way way back in 2016 times. Then I see something very familiar to me. This was posted back in 4th of August 2016. Oh my god, remember the draw this again meme? I used to love doing that. I still love doing it, but I've been occupied with other works and stuff as time goes on, and didn't really look back on my account a lot to see which one I wanted to redraw. If I want to, I would do more. But the point is, one night I can't sleep due to thinking about that old crappy comic where I still use airbrush in the color of grey for shading. I got insomnia not because of the cringe, but because I wanted to redraw it. However, it also got me thinking. Where should I upload it after I finish redrawing it? And then I thought, what if I animate it? There's another animation work, baby! Stay until the end to see the final look. Or you could just skip ahead. It got me high thinking about it, to the point where I wanted to get up early in the next morning and started working on it because that's how I am. When I want to work, especially animation, I will put all my time on it. I wouldn't even pick up my phone. I could even forget to eat or take breaks too. But this is the time where I take things slowly because I got occupied with two other jobs. So I multitask it quite a lot. I am making this video because I want to share my thought process and also occupy with a little time lapse. Everyone likes watching time lapse. Right. This is the first official video of the channel name now called as Tired Statics. The first thing I did is setting the colors for this animation. The original comic is very dark and edgy. Even if the content for it is not, you will still feel like it was not a very wholesome comic due to the colors and everything. So I'm grabbing my character sheet and that's as that I made for Recursive Tale back then because it's the same thing anyway. We're smarter not harder, but I'm changing the colors to a darker blue to show it is nighttime and changing the line art color too. Despite me still wondering how daytime and nighttime works in the underground, I'll just pretend the lights go out a little. So it's not too dark but you will know it's sleepy time. Normally, after designing all the color palettes for your character in SS, we would do storyboarding to familiarize the shots. <laughs> I'm not even gonna cut that out. But I'm doing this solo, so I could just go straight to animating, because it's pretty much similar, but I got more controls on the timing, and I could also already start doing giving the actions for the characters. Here's where things can get boring. But it's something I enjoyed and always do it really quick until I reach the ending of it. Turning a comic into an animation is kind of like a manga to anime kind of thing. Cannot make it 100% the same views when the comic was drawn. Sometimes some shots would only look good in comics, but it doesn't look good in animation. I'm actually still not sure how comic panels actually work. Looking at the comic that I drew before, it's very basic and not a lot of crazy perspectives, so it is easy to keep some elements into animation. I also removed and changed some things, especially since I finished Recursive Tale, I have updated Rhodes as a character in some ways. In the comic, I was eager to show how strong Rose's powers are when he's in a panic mode, strong enough to lift all furniture up, including his bed, up to the ceiling. Now, that was overpowered. We're removing that. I also find it funny how scared I was to draw roses in other angles rather than just a quarter side. <laughs> this is why I started Recursive Tale. I could make a turnaround model sheet of him right about now. Hell, I couldn't even draw him without wearing socks and shoes. Now you might be wondering, just who sleeps like this? Allow me to present you. One panel that I find weird in the comic is that Rhodes wanted to go inside Papyrus's room. It's probably based on a lot of the other older Undertale comics, where Sans has nightmares of the genocide round, and he tends to walk in to see if Papyrus is safe in this room. Now here's the thing. Rose and Sans have always been the two characters that I wanted to know about Recess, but I wanted Rose to not 
have dreams about Papyrus getting killed, then Lo won't cause too much of a reaction into a panic. It's too much of a sane state. So something else could trigger his abilities more. It could be a near-death experience or it could be some flashback memories of when he was younger. That I think could make it easier to get into his shoes and feel the panic when he wakes up. I tried my best not to leave too much in between off and I didn't really fill myself with reference this time. So there's probably something off in the anatomy, but I'm too lazy and too eager to upload this animation to care. Now I cut off some shots that show Sans walking down as well, because one, I'm lazy, and two, I figure using sound design could give off a building up, like, oh, who else is there and walking towards us? And then you see Sans, and then the video ends, and maybe we can make the title of the comic appear. I realize I tend to say I'm lazy, and as a reason of not wanting to do something, maybe I should be called lazy statics instead. That involves shading as well. I just feel like shading is not necessary in this animation. I left out a lot of things in static when the objects are going to float around in the final look because I'm better than making them in post. After effects, my good man. It's always impressive how Adobe can make really great products, but the company itself is... Guttering is the fun part, so you can see me doing it pretty quickly. Unless anime likes to be a whiny little bitch and thinks that some lines are not sticking together, but won't show me where the gaps are. Ignoring that, coloring in animate is fun. Now this part is fun too. I can just drag my anime file into After Effects and it keeps all layers in the composition. This is why I like using animate so much, because in other softwares you have to export them in separate layers in a PNG format or PNG sequence. I know, I know I could just add in the effects in animate by using tweens and glows. I know you could do that, I know how to use it, but I just don't wanna. Something I like doing is adding layers of colors and vignette to make certain parts of the video look nice. If you watch Recursive Tale, you will know how I color graded all episodes in orange color with a slight brown vignette. There's no shading in this animation, which would be much more plain compared to the episodes. So, with the notes that I still kept for compositing the Recursive Tale episodes, please ignore that it's still called Recursion in here, I follow the settings of adding a vignette and color grading, so it still gives a little charm to it, and also noise grains, because I heard noise grains can prevent color bars that, that you will see in the edges, although I don't see much of a difference. Maybe it's more obvious in bigger screens. I exported the video and put in Adobe Premiere for sound design. Have I mentioned how much I enjoy doing sound design? Sound design, and there's something I didn't know I'm very talented at too. And I could have used uh, different types of sound design to bring up the atmosphere. It was quite fun, I, I didn't know how fun it would be. I probably did in previous videos. I get to reuse the sounds I made and downloaded online that was for Recursive Tale before. Makes things easier. Oh, can't forget my little watermark. One thing that's difficult is music. But in this case, maybe I don't even need to add music. Sometimes plain silence adds the ambiance. I'll just let the sound effects do the work. And you know what, I'll add one. You skipped ahead, didn't you? Not that it matters. <laughs> I present you Draw This Again meme, but in animation form. Enjoy! Thank you. 